Hey, what's up, guys? I want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Many of you know that doxing is a huge problem on social media, with one party revealing private information like names and addresses of another party, in some cases, even targeting their family members, all with the intent to harass and intimidate. Thankfully, there's a way to fight back with Aura. Aura automatically scans the web for any mention of your private information. And if any is detected, Aura sends a removal request on your behalf to keep your identity safe. Aura provides this and much more for only 12 bucks a month. Compare that to what it will cost you if your identity is stolen. The best part is you can try Aura for free for 14 days by clicking my link in the description. You won't regret it. Now let's get into the video. This is Chicago, a city that has many different facets to offer. Culture, sports, nostalgia, most of all, organized crime. I grew up on Grand Island, Gulf Western, that area, and uh, you know, my uncles were connected, my cousins were connected, but I decided not to. The government has made a major move against organized crime. They were me. They were bad news. In fact, I have a cousin that uh, took a fall for one of them, otherwise he'd been wound up in a trunk. To me, they're just, they're what give Italian people a bad name. Tony. He was NG. He was bad. Just like the movie portrayed him to be, he was bad, he was mean, and he would he would just do anything to anybody and had no conscience. That's all I can say. I was at this bar, place was called as time goes by, and uh, Jackie Sloan walked in there with uh, a couple of his friends. And uh, they started bothering a girl that was sitting at there, sitting at a table with a guy. She was a real good looking girl. And started grabbing her and this guy couldn't or wouldn't do nothing because he was afraid. And uh, I was sitting there with my wife. And my wife was 22 years younger than I was, good looking girl. And uh, I don't know whether they knew better or they or whatever the case may be, but they didn't come near her because I wouldn't have tolerated it. And they were just doing whatever they wanted with this other girl, grabbing her here, grabbing her there. You know, he was just a bad man. Bad man. I would ate his heart right out of his chest because he, he was nothing but a punk as far as I was concerned. Doing what he was doing, you know, to innocent people only because he had a name and he had two guys to, to back him up, big guys. The way I felt at the time was I had a gun and they had a gun, you know. It's a matter of who uses it first. 